Hey Star Wars fans, I thought I'd share with you today a recent purchase from Walmart. This is a job of the hut with a uh, throne and different accessories. This was actually marked down. I think the original retail on it sometime around Christmas was close to $40. And uh, I got this one day last week. It was in the markdown section for the price on it was marked for 19 but when I got the register it actually rang up for 16 so no complaints. But uh, I've always wanted a job of the hut. But the ones that they've made in the past, I don't, it just, uh, it just never did look exactly right. I actually wound up with one that I just have recently opened. I've had it all this time and I received it as a gift in 97 from the Power of the Force, which I'll show you here in a minute. But it, it doesn't look anything like Job of the Hut, I don't think. But, uh, this is a really nice set. It, uh, it comes with a Ula dancing girl. And she's posable. She's tied with a uh, a string that you can tie either to the to the uh, throne itself or to Java. And it comes with a uh, salacious crumb. He's not real posable, but he actually comes with his own little cushion to set on all these uh, all of these pieces right here are removable for the pillows and cushions and different things and the detail on uh, on this is a uh, it's amazing to me I'm not for sure exactly what you call this but it's also removable and uh, the Jabba figure itself, you can actually see they put a lot of thought into designing this. And the detail on it's great, the paint's good. It's even got the uh, slobber running out of the corner of his mouth. And the thing I also noticed, which is a picture on the back of the box, that one eye's halfway open. So that's pretty well movie accurate. That's the way he looked in the movies, the, uh, his hands. His arms and elbows move, that's about it. Head turns. And the tail is, uh, I guess you want to call it posable. You can turn it to where it sticks straight out or you can twist it back in a, like that. He's also got the uh, little tattoo on his right forearm. And it comes with all of these all these little pillows and stuff to set up on the throne. The throne itself is really detailed too. It's got uh, you can't really tell from looking at this. You can see the picture on the box. It's got like a cyclops head on here with the rings. And the bottom side of it's got four wheels. the box that it came in. As you can see right there on the front. Here's the back side of it. The artwork on this is uh, and the pictures are good. Right there's a picture from the movie. You can see where he's got one eye. It's about halfway about halfway open. I'm glad I got it. It really does display well. And as far as a comparison of what I've had in the past, this is the one that I just recently opened up. And after I, after I opened it up, I put it right back in the box. This is a 97 version of Java from Power of the Force. I mean, it's not even, it's not even the right color. I mean, I know why they made this, because they went back and added a, another special effect in the movies later on, but that's uh, that's almost ridiculous to even look at. And I got one here also that I've had for a long time. This wound up in the bottom of a box from some yard sale stuff and has some tools in it. I mean, this is the one that was from the scene of the movie, but you can see at least they've got him painted in the right color and not gray and uh, pink. Uh, 
I'm happy to finally wind up with a, with a good Java since he was a uh, one of the main characters in the, the storyline from from the earlier movies. And that's all I got today for my Star Wars collection.